Hi everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Summer Abroad Diaries. Um, if you missed the first video, just a quick recap. Um, I am a University of Toronto student who had the opportunity to study abroad at the University of Oxford this past August. Um, and I basically just filmed and documented my experience and I wanted to share that with you guys in case any of you are thinking of going on summer abroad or you just kind of wanted to see what the experience is like. Um, I hope this gives a little bit of insight. Um, so we're actually on a field trip on this day, I believe this was a Wednesday. Um, just a quick um, rundown of what our schedule actually looked like. So we only had classes from Monday to Thursday. And then from Friday to Sunday, we could basically do what we wanted. Um, and then our classes were usually from 9 a.m. to 12 and we would have at least for my class we would have um, one of the days designated for like a field trip where we'd go explore and that's what we're actually doing right now so on this wednesday we went to london um, it was quite a drive which is why you're probably wondering why is she still in the bus it was quite a drive um, to get from oxford to london but it was really fun um, looking out and seeing all the hustle and bustle of london um, but today we're actually visiting two museums we're visiting the british optical museum and we're also going to be visiting the london science museum um, I should also mention that we did not go here for fun. These were um, specific sites that were chosen that we had assignments to write on. Um, so we were, you know, walking around um, with our little notepads or like phones for people who chose to use their phones, um, trying to get down as much information as possible so that we could take that um, and put it into our essays. So we finally arrived in London and we're currently making our way over to our first museum which as I mentioned before is the British Optical Museum. Um, it was really fascinating. Um, it's one of those museums that is not really well known but carries so much history. Um, our tour guide talked to us a bit about the history of disability in terms of eyewear and how um, progressively it's become more and more accepted um, and we don't really see eyewear and glasses as a disability but historically speaking that was not the case and he talked to us about how ideologies kind of hindered um, the use of eyewear and how over time all of these advancements and you know changes in beliefs about eyewear kind of led us to where we are today so really fascinating experience so after we were done exploring the optical museum, um, we had to head over to our next museum and we were given the option of either walking or taking the tube um, and we only had 30 minutes to get there and the walk was about an hour. So my friends and I, we kind of split the, the deal, we decided to walk some of it and pass Buckingham and then we also took the tube. Um, so we got the best of both worlds, we got a bit of fresh air but we also got the really London vibe of taking the tube. The tube was wonderful. Was a wonderful experience, it was so unique, it's so different from the TTC but I don't know, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if, the, uh, if people that live in London full time would, <laughs> would agree but I thought it was a really cool experience. So we did a little bit more walking and then we finally arrived at the London Science Museum. Um, our goal here was to try to find um, specific scientific advancements that have bettered the disability experience. So we weren't just like randomly walking around, but we were looking for specific um, in, uh, inventions or specific you know devices that had bettered the experience and i decided to go with something related to virology because um, i found it really fascinating how um, diseases that we've gotten under control nowadays like measles rubella and mumps um, it's not always been the case that we knew what those diseases were and we knew how to prevent them and they really have played a role in causing disabilities especially when it came to auditory disabilities um, so really fascinating experience even though we were looking for specific um, devices we also got to do a lot of exploring and we just kind of poked our noses here and there and tried to you know really soak in um, all of this amazing technology and science and it was really cool they had a variety of different exhibits and um, some more related to math some more to technology some more to health um, so really really exciting really fascinating
later, I am at a cafe with one of my friends from the trip and I'm just prepping um, for a midterm on Thursday. Um, essentially how I studied is I came up with a bunch of my own questions and then I quizzed myself using Active Recall to see if I was comfortable enough with the material to produce it on the test. to be just like a shepherd's pie but with like a crumbly thing on top so i'm gonna eat that right now as well okay and then i also got some fruit to eat now as well so i got some grapes um i want to try to finish them today because i actually i, I didn't turn on my fruit i got some floss and lastly i got some major value in the ones. I've been running low on snacks, which is why I replenished a bit. But that is essentially everything I got from Chesco. 